Hello, I'm Virginia Newman, and I'm going to talk to you all about the benefits of seasonal spring eating this evening. Um, I'm just about to finish my first year and the Master's in Nutrition student at Bastyr, and I'm not going to lie, winter quarter was really, really rough. Um, some of the students are laughing. <laughs> Um, I tried my best to eat my ideals, and what I mean by that is that as a nutrition student, I truly do believe that our food choices are our best preventative medicine, but more often than not, the powers of winter combined with stress eating found, found me mindlessly shoving pizza into my face, whether I was in front of my computer, in front of my books, or even driving in the car. So one evening, towards the end of the quarter, I was cooking on autopilot. I was simply going through the motions. And I reached for a storage onion, and, and I pulled this out. And, and I had a little moment. I mean, it was kind of a big moment because I took a picture of it. <laughs> this is the onion. And I thought, it's spring. It's spring, and this storage onion is using all of its stored energy to try and procreate right here in my kitchen. <laughs> and this dynamic little onion prompted me to turn my autopilot off. And I continued to cook and then eat that meal with a mindfulness and an intention that I hadn't felt for a while. So eating with the seasons has a way of pulling us face first into our plate and reminding us, reminding us of a time and a space that's always here but that we may not notice in our day-to-day -day busyness. It reminds us to slow down, to actually chew our food, which you would be surprised at the amount of digestive disorders could be relieved by this one simple tidbit, chewing. It's the first step of the digestive process. So in the wintertime, it's perfectly natural to crave heartier, heavier foods, like pizza, root vegetable stews, meats, if that's your thing. Um, before modern conveniences like heat, this was a survival strategy. So we're essentially biologically primed for it. And then as the seasons change, lighter foods begin to emerge from the ground. Asparagus got its own slide because I just love to watch it grow. And it can grow up to 10 inches in one day. So mindful eating, I discuss the benefits of seasonal eating. It can sort of center us and remind us of the space and time we're in. Um, and also, nature offers us just the right things at the right time. So see, spring produce is packed with remedies to help us clear out winter stagnation, to detoxify, and to invigorate. So asparagus can help uh, reduce phlegm and mucus in the lungs. It's a diuretic and a natural laxative, so that'll help clean us out. Um, it contains the amino acid aspartate, which um, neutralizes ammonia, which when that lingers in the body, it tends to make us feel kind of sleepy. So eat the lovely deep red stems of rhubarb, but avoid the leaves as they're high in toxic amounts of oxalic acid. Um, rhubarb also helps relieve constipation and is detoxifying. So these crazy looking things over here are called garlic scapes. They're the flowering portion of the garlic plants and they're available a couple of months before cured garlic is ready. They offer us uh, similar nutritional benefits to garlic. They help to stimulate our metabolism, eliminate toxins from the body, and they support our immunity. I personally first fell in love with the radish when I realized how quickly and easily they grow. Radishes are a diuretic, they're a stimulant and a digestive aid, and they also can help cleanse sinus congestion. So if you head to the farmer's market in the early winter, um, or that ah, winter we've moved on, in the early spring months, you'll find a sea of a variety of different colors of green which is perfect because greens offer a light complement to the heavy foods that we've been eating all winter. They are also amazing detoxifiers. Greens offer us the nutrients to help support our own organs of detoxification, like the lungs and the liver. Oops. 
So I put together a menu to bring all of these pieces together. Um, I included an asparagus risotto. Sometimes it's hard for me to say goodbye to the winter heavier, creamier food. So I like the risotto because it combines that, the creaminess of risotto, with um, asparagus, the seasonal uh, spring choice. So uh, garlic scapes, if you haven't tried them, I highly encourage you to check them out at the farmer's market. Um, we live in a great area. There's a farmer's market every day of the week in this area, and they're on right now. Garlic scapes are like a mild tasting um, garlic green bean, and they're really easy to prepare. So if you just chop them up and saute them in olive oil on medium heat for about five minutes, they're fantastic. Roasted radishes, if you've never had a roasted radish, I encourage you to try that. It cuts the spiciness a little bit, and it, brings out, it can bring out the sweetness. The protein is a seared wild halibut with a rhubarb compote on top. So there are recipes available if you haven't seen them already. Um, and in closing, I hope I've inspired you to include some seasonal produce into your meals this weekend and beyond. I hope you eat them with a mindfulness, don't forget to chew, and a gratefulness that our food can truly be our medicine. Thank you.